Greetings, everyone. My name is Christina Nicole Smith, and today I'll be sharing my thoughts on the book, Spelling for Kids, an interactive vocabulary and spelling workbook for kids ages five through 13 by Buki Ekin Ogunlana. Let's do it. As a reviewer on the Readsy Discovery platform, I received an advanced copy of this book. First, let me give you a short summary of what this book is all about. The Spelling for Kids Interactive Spelling Workbook for children ages 5 through 13 features over 10,000 spelling words to assist children in improving their vocabulary, reading comprehension, and spelling skills. What makes this workbook interactive is the usage of audio repetition of the selected vocabulary words through text repetition of age-specific words from the Connected Spelling audiobook, which the author included to help with memory retention, reading skills, and pronunciation of the vocabulary words. Okay, the strengths of this book are the wide-ranging vocabulary words that are introduced and utilized. It's also very helpful that the spelling words are used in a sentence which will help your child get a sense of the word's meaning, even if they've never heard the word before. At each age level, the words get more varied and uncommon. For example, you may have heard the term high-frequency words. So at the beginning of the workbook, in the first lessons for young children, you will see high-frequency words that so many use in everyday speaking. But as the age level increases, the author adds words that one may not hear as often, especially in usage by one's peers in their same age group. For example, in the level seven spelling lessons for 12-year-olds, there are spelling words such as magnanimity, <laughs> odious, ominous, and strident, to name a few. Okay, so some of the book's weaknesses are, uh, since this is a workbook that is for ages 5 through 13, I would have liked to have seen fun images in the workbook in the lessons geared towards the children ages 5 through 8 years old. And it's because since we think in uh, images when we use our imaginations. Having an image next to each new vocabulary word that is being introduced to the young reader would have been a helpful addition. The workbook does its job in the sense that it will assist the parent in introducing potentially new vocabulary words and will help their child learn how to spell them. However, for the younger age group, this book is targeting, I feel that fun images to help visualize each vocabulary word would have been a helpful addition in this case. I would recommend this book for parents whose children are enrolled in public school as a way to help them supplement their English language arts learning. Many times children in public schools are sitting in packed classrooms and may not always get the additional help they may need if they are struggling. So this workbook will assist those parents in searching for a useful tool to help their children at home in this regard. If you are tutoring a child in their reading, writing, and spelling, this would also be a useful tool. Um, and lastly, I would also recommend this workbook for homeschooling parents who are looking for an affordable addition to their English curriculum. The fact that this workbook is geared towards children ages five through 13 years old is excellent because you will have a learning tool that you can use for eight years at an affordable price. Of course, when you homeschool, your child may go at a faster pace and want to challenge themselves sooner, but that's the beauty of homeschooling. The children can learn at their own pace. So again, the value that is provided here is excellent. I give this book four stars because it is an excellent educational resource for tutors, parents, whether they are homeschooling or not. I would have liked to have seen more images for young readers, but the value that is provided by the author overshadows this point. Well, that's all I have for today. If you would like me to review your book, check in the description box below. I'll see you next time.